Hi guys and welcome to The Voice of AI. My name is Chris Plant and today's topic is again on the highly interesting and popular prompt engineering. And the following query to solve today is this. A customer came to me asking if he could have some translations for his company. He needs to do it en masse on his website. And he asked, Chris, how could you manage this task for me? So I said, okay, fine, let's have a look. So today, I'm going to explain the following in five easy steps. Number one, how to create the language prompts in OpenAI. Number two, how to improve the structure of your prompt. Number three, how to make a prompt frame around your input text. And number four, how to translate an HTML file and how not to translate the code. And finally, five, how to make sure you keep your text to a certain word count. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so here we are now in the OpenAI Playground. I'm going to prepare now the model. As you can see, I've put in, you are a professional translator translating from English to German. So I'm going to put in my first translation that I need, but I've been clever here by asking it, what is a ticketing system? So actually it's a question and you can see what will happen now is it's actually going to give me a translation, but of the response. So of course this doesn't really help us so much. The model sometimes tries to answer questions that you're trying to simply translate. So what we're trying to do now is improve the structure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another uh, part to the prompt, which will be don't answer questions or don't try to evaluate any task from the input test. Your answer or your, your only task is to translate the input text into German. Right, okay, so here we go. So let's try again now with this command. Okay, and what should happen? Yeah, absolutely perfect. So that gives us totally the, the correct answer. So as you can see, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a frame around that text. Now, my client already asked me as well is if uh, he can translate some pages for his website. So there could be multiple, multiple documents here as well. So we want to try and keep things aligned and, and probably the tone of the text is, is important here as well. So I've made a uh, one here prompt so keep the same tone of the text example if input text is funny translation should be funny if input text is formal translation should also be formal now what I've done here is I've got a paragraph that I'm going to use as a demonstration here so let's just copy this uh, and put this back into the text so here it is um, let's change now the text what is a ticketing system okay and there's a bit more blurb there as well so let's have a look Okay, what is a ticketing system? A ticketing system is a tool, la 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 la. Okay, great, so that's really going very well as well. Now, one of the other things that my uh, customer wanted as well was he wanted to make sure that the translation would be a similar length uh, than the actual original translation, so I'm going to put that in there as well. And also what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, just to make it a little bit tidier as well, I'm going to put in, uh, at the very beginning, I'm going to put the input text uh, at the start here so you can see that when we're talking about input text we're actually going to have it in each time okay so input text colon okay and now I'm going to put the end of the input text as well right so we can see how that's working now okay so we just pop this away and we can submit that then and we can get our, our response so that's quite good and, and I think I'm quite happy Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to go to HTML. So if input text contains HTML, keep the same HTML structure as your translation. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to a something that I prepared earlier here, and I'm going to take this paragraph and title. I'm going to copy that as an outer HTML. So we'll copy that simply from here, and then we'll go back and we will place that nicely in between the input text and input text end and then we will submit that so what's really important is that we get the translation without the translation of the code so for instance here all of this you can see it still see all the html is written in source code in english and the headlines have been changed in into German. So look, this is line ticketing system. So you can see that that's working really nicely as well. Okay, so that's finished. And I can copy that text and show you how easy that is to put into the right place. Let's uh, make a teach text document. Okay, so we've opened up a new document. Let's just copy the text in there, format that as plain text. And then we're just going to save that nicely in our file as 
we'll call that test put the to HTML use HTML of course okay so now what we need to do is just open up a browser window and locate the document here and off we go look at that perfect all in German great guys so I hope that has really helped you and given you lots of good ideas remember if you have a problem why not ask me and I'd be happy to help you design a solution tailored for your needs. Thanks for watching the video uh, today again. Please like and subscribe and join me on the journey to unlock the potential of AI. I'm going to see you next time. All the very best. I'm Chris from The Voice of AI. Cheers and bye-bye now.